In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to apply your brand colors to any graphic design in Adobe Illustrator using generative recolor. Even if you don't know how to use Adobe Illustrator, you can follow these instructions and do it. Here is this vector graphic that I downloaded from storyblocks.com. And I could go in and manually adjust each colors with the new generative recolor tool. If you select your layers, all of them or some of them, you can go up to edit, edit colors, generative recolor. Here you can submit any sort of text-based prompt. So if we want to change this to cool blues, we can type that in and click generate. It will give us variations down here that we can work with. It also has these sample prompts up here that you can play around with just for some ideas. And when you click on one of them, four new variations pop up in our variations down here. But how do we apply our brand colors? The first thing we need to do is make sure that our brand colors are in our swatches. So if you go to window, swatches, you'll need a group of brand colors here. And the easiest way to do this is to add your colors to your libraries. So here in my libraries, I have added my swatches and created a group for my brand colors. To do that, you can click the plus button and add a fill color and then double click to add your specific color. I'm going to delete that. And then once you have all of the colors for your brand, you can select all of them, right click and choose new group from selection because now I have this group that I can right click and add the theme to my swatches. And you can see here, once I do that, it adds as a folder and it's in my swatches. And because this is in my libraries, which is in the cloud, I can go to this library in any Adobe app, any computer, and it will be here. So now we have this swatch group in our libraries. So if we select our icon, our layers here, Again, go back to edit, edit colors, generative recolor, then click advanced options. We have our video school folder here in our color groups. So if I click on that, it automatically applies those colors to our graphic. If we're not exactly happy with how this turned out, we can click this little button here, which randomly changes the colors or the orders and applies them to this graphic. So we can continue to do this until we get a specific icon that we like. If we want to manually swap these colors, say we want to swap this dark background for the teal, we can drag that up here to this color here and it swaps those colors. You can even double click these and you can adjust the specific color. You can go into your color swatches from here as well and change those. So say we want that Polaroid coming out to be the teal as well. We can double click it. We can go to our color swatches and select our specific brand colors. So it's all customizable, but with the click of a button, you can apply your brand colors, a palette that you've created, and you can swap it around until you get a match that you like. All right, I hope this tutorial helps you out, inspires you. If you're interested in learning all of the other AI features that Adobe is releasing for all of their apps, I've created an Adobe Firefly crash course. I'll leave a link down below. And this class is constantly being updated with new features that Adobe is releasing, including the web-based tools where you can create images from text, all of the generative art things that we can do by with generative fill in the web app, as well as Photoshop, text effects, generative color, and so much more coming down in the future. So enroll in that class if you're interested in it. It's a discounted link. And by going through that link below, you really help me out as a creator. So thanks so much. Have a beautiful day. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Bye.